out here again. First piece of glass. Oh, that's nice. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. Hopefully we'll find some more. All right. This is a pretty good stretch here. This is the second piece of cobalt glass I found in the last minute. Along with a few other decent pieces, so. This was covered with water the last time I was out here, so. Freshly exposed. Alrighty. I'm not gonna go too far up here today, so. See what else there is and I'll turn around and head back. All right. Very nice. It's aqua glass. Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. I gotta look around in here carefully. Oh, I don't know how I missed this. On my first pass, but I did. And that was cool. Kind of shaped like a heart. And right here. Old amber glass. So there we go. I am starting to feel rain. That is not good. Okay. What is that? Ugh, it's a piece of bread. Okay. <laughs> well, hey everyone. So as always, I'm going to start out with the beach glass finds. And you can see them here. Some decent sized ones. A couple of cobalts there. I'm happy with that. The uh, bottom piece of amber glass is going to go in the recycling bin that's extremely new but I got it off the beach. So, okay, as far as the rocks go today, fossil craziness right here. I think it's a crinoid. I don't typically see them in this sort of matrix rock. It's usually uh, it looks more like limestone or Something like that. This is cool. What? <laughs> I'm thinking brachiopod right here. And that is all this white stuff. That's quartz. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is strange. Nice and smooth. Rolling around out in the lake. Two garden racks. And one wicked piece of what I believe is chalcedony. It is not an agate. Um, hang on here. I don't know if that's working. Yes, there's some translucency to it. So, it's pretty cool. I like that stuff. All right, there's some a really fun clip next that you'll see and then I'll elaborate on it afterwards. Okay. Okay. This is dangerous. I want this right here. Well, if I 
I got one thing today, this is cool. Whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's nuts. All right, so here is what I was trying so hard to pull out of that dump underneath the piece of metal in the last clip that you saw. Now, there's not a hole in this. Initially, I thought it was just a giant kind of light bulb of some sort, but check it out. Totally floats. Well, after a little bit of research, and it didn't take me long to figure it out, actually, um, it's a pre-1950 vintage toilet float. <laughs> Of course I would find something like this. That's just me. The weird stuff's drawn to me. I'm guessing other people have maybe come across things like this and knew what they were, but I had no idea. And one of the first like Google articles that whoops popped up, it just it cracked me up. <laughs> so yeah, fun stuff. Very cool, actually. You know, I never really thought about how old plumbing fixtures were made in the past. I just assume, you know, like, oh, uh, the floats loose in the toilet here and it's not flushing very well, so I adjust it as plastic junk, you know. This would have made for like a hefty flush, I feel, back in the day. The good old days. There's that. So. The rest of my stuff. I'll start with this rather ornate piece of milk glass. Um, it is translucent, semi-translucent. Very little markings there. See the number 11 and something else, but I do not have one and I have never found one like this before with that kind of design on it. And of course, these always pretty much clean up beautifully. I like. So, the beer bottles. A label I applied to that one and this one. These are the 60s, I call them squat beers. Maybe they have a different kind of name, but that's what I call them. And this is a beer that is dated in March 1962 as well as this, but I'm fortunate enough to have gotten my hands on some legit Chief Oshkosh beer labels, which uh, Oshkosh is not very far from me at all. So this is my favorite, of course. Call of the North, three, two beer. I could probably drink like 10 of those and not even feel it. I was forced to do that in Minneapolis one time 10 years ago because I didn't realize they didn't really sell real beer on Sundays in this city. Ugh. I was like, why is this not, I don't know, craziness. It was like useless, whatever. So, okay, well, there's that stuff. So I'll leave you with a picture of uh, the one and only decent picture, I guess I got off the rooftop of my hospital of the eclipse a few days ago. And I guess it's gonna be quite a while before one of those goes over the United States again here at, in at least the lower, 48, so. All right, see you soon. Good night.